Give me just one sec. <laughs> so what you got there? Oh, there he is. Yes. So, someone wanted to stop by during the interview. Hey there. What's up, dog? <laughs> How's it going? What's up, dog? Hey, come on. You know what's crazy? What? I swear to you, I have a, a shirt at home. Yeah. That the, the guy, there's a guy on the front of the shirt that looks a lot like you. Could be me. It's crazy. Could I mean, the, the resemblance is crazy. <laughs> but we're all looking like any goddamn way. So what the fuck, man? Hey, well, they say that. They say that. <laughs> Get a chair. Sit down, man. Oh, man. Get a chair. Where's a chair? Hold up. Get him a chair. Can we, can we fill both well, these, these, these chairs yeah. are higher. No, no. There's no way I'm sitting higher than this man. No, I raised the, I raised the, I raised the camera up. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah. Bring the camera to eye level. How you doing? I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> <laughs> you be mimicking me. I ain't telling you well, shit. Well, you, you know that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got a, a copter hat. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, know. I talk, we've been talking about you a little bit. Yeah. You know, I said, you know, what you're doing is great, man. And you're going to let your wife out shine you pretty soon. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I was going to, next time I see you, I was going to tell you this. I got some, I got some advice for you. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first got into the business after about two films, I had my manager says, you're talking black, like a black man. Mm. And I didn't understand what he meant. And then he showed me, you and I have this, and all black people have this ability to go high when we talk. Hey, mm. man, what's <laughs> up, man? You know? yeah. And he said, don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. Because it defies your presence. It defies right. what you're trying to represent. Right. Right. So you have to be a little careful mm -hmm. on that. Mm. You can go, hey, man. Like, hey man, what's up? Like, wow, man. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do that, right? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. I, hey, I, I hear you. You know, you, you remind me of like I remember when I'd be visiting my my relatives in South Carolina, uh -huh. and I noticed that my uncles they would speak differently when yeah. they would talk to certain yeah. folks. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why do they look? What they they look down? Yeah. And the voice changed. Yeah. And I and I was really aware of that. And I could tell when folks were uh, talking about white folks, yeah, yeah. just by, even if I didn't see who they're talking about, they would say, Mr. So-and-so. But you what, know? What, you, what you will find, this will change your performance mm. because you are physically representing this voice that's inside of you. And you give it away when you go, hey, man, how you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, you can say, hey, man, how you doing? What up? Hey, man. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. don't do that. Yeah, it I, takes away from what you represent. I believe. Yeah, I I got you. You know, have I, you heard? Have anybody told you that before? You know, um, no, nobody's ever said it the way you just said. It. Yeah, well, that's what my manager's white guy says to me. Mm. He said, you know, you got this physique and everything, and blah blah boom, but it's just you talk black. I said, what do you mean talk black? Mm. Well, yeah, you talk black. I just say, what are you talking? About? Mm -hmm. I said, see, you're talking black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it might be a, a coping mechanism to make other people feel comfortable. No. You know, this is it's your world. Right. Exactly. Your fuck exactly. Exactly. Is, exactly. This is, this is your world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. now, I, I hear you. I, I'm with that 100. Yeah. So I know you guys are talking about some good stuff. Oh, man. This, this guy raped me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he got all this shit from, man. Oh, yeah, somebody might somebody have told him some stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that could have been. The Bill Withers story. I'm snitching. Came yeah. from him. Yeah. Came from him. Man, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Do you, do you understand what imagery, how important imagery is? Let me tell you, I was a kid, and I watched Hell Up in Harlem. Mm. I it, it was on a um, it was on a drive-in, right? I couldn't understand one word. I stood there, and would watch over and over this man, just because that image. I'm like, that's a Badass dude, <laughs> I would. I'm like, want to be like that. And I had a friend, friend Freddie. He lived in the area near the um, near the uh, driving, and I would go to his house and watch it again because from where he, where his back porch is, you can watch the whole movie. Don't, <laughs> can't hear a damn thing. Nothing. Can't hear a damn <laughs> all, thing. All silent. But that's the first thing. And and I would watch his movies. He was bigger, he's he bigger than he is now. <laughs> but like, 
It was like that. And it was like, it drew me. Yeah. Had no idea I'd be following in his footsteps. But that's kind of what we've been talking about. Like, yeah. Image is everything. You know, that's why I got three rules, I tell you. You can't kill me in a movie after one of my fights and I get the girl at the end of the movie. Now that's their fucking out. And they go, okay, we can't give you all three, but what you give you, we'll, we'll, you can't have the girl. Well, I in my mind, I don't want the bitch no mother. <laughs> You don't understand. I'm don't just giving die. you. I'm giving you an out. I don't want the bitch no way. <laughs> you know, because how can I explain to an 18 year old, or 20 year old walking down the street and say, "Hey, you're the hammer, yeah, yeah. Why you let that guy beat you up, man? Mm. Why you let that guy kill you? How can I explain it to him? If I say, well, I got paid a lot. Oh, you're a sellout, huh? Longevity, man, is is something that you have to nurture. Yeah. Be careful about it, because it can go away quick. No, we just, uh, before we got here, we were talking about him, you know? Yeah. Mm. And, well, I mean, this is who actually hooked us up together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey, uh, I, I got a friend Williamson coming. You should come by. He's like, yeah. oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you, uh, what, what was the timing from the, when I said I'm on my way to when I got here? About four an hour minutes. or so, yeah. Oh, you no, got no, four no, minutes. Oh, four yeah, minutes. Yeah, right down the street. <laughs> you prompted yeah. him because he was really flaky, man. I was three folk Took three or four calls. Could three or four calls. You were completely unreachable the entire day. <laughs> I texted you 38 times and I had multiple people call you. Yeah, but straight to voicemail. If I say I'm coming, he's texting me saying, are you coming? So I'm going, mm -hmm. I, I'll be there. I'm texting back. I'll be there. He's texting I, back. I, I, I didn't Are you get coming? it. I'll be there. I got, I got no responses the entire day. No. No, what? Today? No. Today. Why? Because <laughs> a week ago, I said, I'm coming. Okay. Fair enough. Fair you enough. Know? Well, I'm here. I, I knew my staff was here when you got here. <laughs> but you okay. weren't. I was not. I was 20 minutes late. Because I didn't know you were That's how they are. They think we like it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how big of an influence? You know, I mean, I know you watched him on the drive-in and didn't really get to see, but once you actually started seeing his movies, what did you think? Oh, my goodness. There, there was nobody cooler mm. than this man. And, you know, and, like, as far as, like, I, I still don't look as handsome as the dude. That's true. I mean, that's, you know, so yeah. there you go. I understand how you feel. But so, you know, <laughs> so, but, you know, that, I mean, as far as, you know, the, the like, a, an epitome, I would be, I'd be like, okay, uh, I'm sorry, your James Bond don't, he can't mess with this dude. Mm. Like him and Jim, yeah. th those, those are my heroes. And just blindly, I'm like, those are the images I want to be like, mm. you know? Jim, Jim was, you know, he, he had the, you know, the intimidating the, the men, and this dude not only had the men, but he had the women. <laughs> you know? so, so these was like, these are what yeah. I Frankenstein myself to be. We were discussing earlier about how we, uh, you know, we, we got along, but you give each guy his space. Mm. Let him do his own thing. And you find a way around. If you're smart enough, you find your way around it to introduce yourself in it. You don't compete with people that you respect. Mm. You find how you, you can fit in. Jim Kelly, Jim Brown, me doing Three the Hard Way was three egomaniacs. <laughs> but we understood that. We understood that. Jim do this. Kelly, you do that. You know, I'm going to be like a butterfly. I'm going to fly around and fit my way in. You know, I ain't going to compete with him. Like I was telling him earlier, we did this Western called Take a Hard Ride. Mm -hmm. And we walk across this bridge and I'm leading the horse. And Jim's behind me walking with his horse. You get across this bridge. Jim jumps me, pushes me, man. Get that fucking horse's ass out of my face. I said, Jim, walk slow. Because he's walking behind me. Yeah. So he's pissed off. He thinks that I'm walking the horse slow because <laughs> the tail was hitting him all in the face like this. <laughs> this Jim. Jim, I'm sorry, man. You know, walk slow, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the kind of camaraderie we had, you know. And we, we didn't compete. I wouldn't compete with him if I did a film with him. I wouldn't compete. I'm going to stand back and see how I can fit in. Mm. I'm not going to compete with him. You know, he can kick his foot higher than man. But I got bigger feet, so maybe I can kick mine lower and hurt the motherfucker more than he hit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I find a way to fit in. You don't compete, man. And that's what we have to do as people, especially since we are the minority. Wherever we go, wherever we are, we can't compete with each other. Mm, we compete it. with what's out there, but we can't compete with each other. I love it.